My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is entitled The Quiet Intelligence of the Failing Heart. Focus on BNP and Entresto. There is a kind of light that we often fail to see. In medicine, we are trained to chase numbers, interpret data and act upon deviations. But sometimes what appears to be a warning signal, an elevated blood test, a strange rhythm, is not just a sign of damage. It may in fact be the body's own attempt at healing. So today I want to talk to you about something that has fascinated me more and more with time, a molecule called BNP and a medication called Entresto, which may hold within it not just therapeutic promise, but a deeper insight into how the heart pleads, copes, and tries to heal itself. What is BNP? BNP stands for B-type natriuretic peptide. It is a hormone produced by the heart. Traditionally, we have thought of BNP as a diagnostic marker, a number that goes up when the heart is under stress, particularly in heart failure. It helps doctors differentiate between breathlessness due to fluid overload and that due to lung causes. But the more we've studied BNP, the more we've come to understand that it is not just a marker. It's medicine made by the body itself. BNP has multiple healing properties. It causes vasodilatation, i.e. helping the blood vessels relax. It promotes diuresis, which helps the body get rid of excessive fluid. It reduces sympathetic overactivity, the very same overdrive that worsens heart failure. It antagonizes the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, a hormonal system that stiffens and stresses the heart over time. In other words, BNP is the heart's own emergency response team. When the heart is struggling, BNP tries to lighten the load. This understanding of BNP led to an extraordinary idea. What if we could preserve BNP for longer in the circulation? Normally, BNP is produced when the heart is struggling and then it is broken down quickly by an enzyme called neprilysin. So a drug was produced, which was a combination of two drugs. This drug was called Entresto. The two drugs it was composed of were Secubitril, which is a drug which inhibits neprilysin and therefore allows BNP to remain active for longer, and Valsartan, which is an angiotensin receptor blocker that reduces harmful hormonal stress on the heart. Together, these two drugs form a synergy. One boosts the body's natural peptide, the other blocks damaging hormones. The results were extraordinary. In the Paradigm HF trial, Entresto was shown to be superior to enalapril in reducing cardiovascular death and hospitalization. In patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, it seemed to be far more effective than standard therapy. The addition of Entresto to usual medications made a big difference. This was not just another blood pressure pill. This was a shift in our approach from suppressing the body signals to supporting them. Interestingly, beyond heart failure, researchers began noticing something else. In a large meta-analysis, Entresto was shown to significantly reduce the risk of new onset atrial fibrillation in patients with heart failure. This finding hits, hints at an anti-arrhythmic effect, possibly related to BNP's calming influence on the heart's electrical system. Even more intriguingly, several case studies have reported suppression of ventricular ectopic beats, those uncomfortable skipped or extra beats, after patients were started on Entresto. These are early signals and more robust data are needed but they add weight to the idea that this drug is doing more than simply reducing fluid or blood pressure. It may be stabilizing the heart's rhythm at a cellular level. Now, let me share an observation that many of my patients have made. Often when someone goes into atrial fibrillation, they say they feel strange racing heart, breathlessness, unease. And then, without any change in medication, they suddenly start to pass large amounts of urine. And after that, they feel better. The palpitations calm. The chaos inside seems to abate. Why does this happen? 
One theory is that BNP rises during episodes of atrial fibrillation, and this rise leads to diuresis. But what if the BNP surge isn't just a symptom of AF, but a healing response to the arrhythmia itself? What if the body is trying to protect the heart, reset its chemistry, and rebalance its rhythm? It is a hypothesis, but one that invites us to think differently. Perhaps BNP is not just noise, but a signal with intent. And that brings us back to Entresto. Could this medication, by preserving BNP, not only help the failing heart, but also calm disordered rhythms? We now know it reduces the likelihood of atrial fibrillation, and it may suppress it topics. Its impact on sympathetic tone, fluid balance, and cardiac remodeling could make it rhythm-friendly, not just pump-friendly. We don't yet have all the answers, but the questions are good ones. So in terms of takeaway messages, I would say BNP is not the villain. It is the body's attempt to help the heart through the turbulent times. And Tresto is one of the first drugs that doesn't just suppress harmful systems, it preserves a beneficial one. The link between BNP and rhythm, especially in conditions like atrial fibrillation, definitely deserves a deeper exploration. And sometimes what we label as a biomarker is actually a message from the body trying to tell us what it needs. There is so much light we cannot see. Medicine has often taught us to view the body mechanistically, as though every symptom is a fault, every elevation a failure. But what if sometimes it is simply the body's language of survival? Thank you so much for listening. If you found this helpful, please do consider sharing it with someone who might benefit. Excellent. I wish you all the best.